Batman called Audi, I need a new Batmobile, and Audi says, that's it. <laughs> so this is called Audi SkySphere and it's Audi's vision of a future electric sporty roadster with an adjustable wheelbase. Soon more to that, but we directly start with the front because this will tell us something about how future Audis will look like in the front. We can see here the Audi rings, they are illuminated. More and more markets do allow these illumination joyful plays and we can see the grille is on the one hand, even wider, but on the other hand, closed because this is here an electric vehicle, of course. It still has the huge front hood. And that's the big questions. We have seen so many electric vehicles, which more have this van style atmosphere, are very roomish on the inside, but they don't look so cool. This predominantly looks cool. And the question is in future, do we want cool looking cars or do we want cars that have more space on the inside? But this car actually tries to combine it both Let's see how that works. Massive 23 inch wheels, really spectacular design. And you can see once again, this huge long hood and there's storage space underneath because there's just one electric motor in the rear and acceleration in about four seconds. So really powerful one. Side mirrors are not present. These are the cameras, which will project a screen or a mirror into the interior and this part here will be spectacular very soon. This is at the moment long wheelbase mode, 5 meters 17 or 203 inches, but this car is actually able to shrink. We'll soon show you more about that. At the moment it's closed here with the soft top and it's a really strong shoulder. So design was really a very spectacular vehicle, also meant to be shown at the Pebble Beach show to you know, create some atmosphere there. And look at that, this is here a very interesting structure from the fabric. Let's remove that thing. And here we go, now it's open and it com yeah, looks almost completely different when it's open now, but really interesting, zoom more to the interior. And here, this is now getting really interesting because this car can be made shorter, 23 centimeters or nine inches difference than in the wheelbase. So as it stands here right now, this is basically a wheelbase of an Audi A8L. But if we pull that front wagon in like this, yeah, using the force, you know, then it becomes a wheelbase of an Audi RS5. And this is what this car is meant to show that it combines, you know, like a lounge atmosphere of a luxury sedan with possibility of a sports car and also gets rear axle steering that makes it even more agile and even fakes a shorter wheelbase and you see it now kind of looks completely different when this piece here is is out doesn't look you know that much bad mobile alike yeah very interesting so uh, we haven't seen this concept here before if that is supposed to come in reality that's a little bit doubtful because of crash safety and you know structural rigidity and the car needs to be really heavy but the concept definitely is very interesting and it looks even more interesting from the interior soon more to that and a short look at the rear here and also has a nice light show and these red audi rings i really want to see these in serial production right this is really cool it also has another trunk here in the rear but at the moment just covered by this glass effect so yeah definitely really really fancy not really something we would see today but maybe in the future i mean on the one hand it looks far away from reality but Quite often we have seen such concept vehicles, which then really had some elements we did see later on in real cars. So if you want to see some elements in real cars, put it in the comments below. Now the interior, see here, suicide doors. That's of course a really impressive effect. And you have touch controls at the inside of doors and also eco-friendly eucalyptus wood from renewable sources and also the rest of the interior is completely animal free. We can see here also alternative materials here and a lot of microfiber use, especially on the seats here, sporty seats. And you can see at the moment we do have a steering wheel also according to the seats with microfiber wrap and this will soon change. See here display all across the vehicle. At the moment, this is just a stationary show effect. We can see a big visualization of the GPS, but it's also conceivable that you watch some movies there in the autonomous mode. We're going to show you very soon. But here, really looks and feels premium and a very interesting product. Look at that seatbelt holder here. This is also a new styling, right? 
At the moment we are in the short wheelbase mode, car is meant to be driven by myself, but I'm on the co-driver seat for safety reasons, because just in case for this, you know, very complicated mechanism, now we're switching to the long wheelbase mode, and then here, steering wheel and display move in, <laughs> really spectacular, and we have actually more space than in the interior, and also the whole front wagon moves forward. So then we're going in this long wheelbase mode, and then it's more like a lounge atmosphere. We have space maybe like to talk to each other or to look outside, drive the highway number one, not out. No, I drive the highway number one myself, but maybe <laughs> stuck in traffic, then I can just look outside or, or maybe watch a movie right here. And you can also see when everything is moved in, now it really creates one surface that goes all the way through. And yeah, this widescreen format would be maybe nice to watch some auto fuel episodes. So um, we can try that. And here in the middle part, you can see also a lot of high gloss black hues, but we still have an analog clock. So some reminiscence of the past. And yeah, you can see here, the steering wheel now is, is right there. The autonomous mode is, by the way, called GT mode by Audi. Well, GT mode to me would rather be driving myself, but this vehicle is indeed about the choice that on demand, you can let the car drive or you drive it yourself. And also a great approach here with the sustainable interior materials, definitely. Probably it will be something in between indeed, and we recently also saw our Mercedes EQS episode where we did level 3 autonomous driving. This year supposed to be even step further, but not reality yet. So check the EQS out when we did the level 3 autonomous driving demo there. And we'll definitely follow this subject here for you. Tell me in your comments what you think about this vehicle.